How's it going, folks? Morning, Waterfowl. Back at you guys with another one. So, I've been doing the demo on the boat. It's been going. Um, I expected it to be, you know, a full restoration, guys. So, believe you me, I know it's a lot of work, and a lot of people say might say, "Well, you're getting yourself into something way too deep, and it's not going to be worth it." I mean, I paid a hundred bucks for this boat, guys. So, I've got the floors pretty much demoed out all that's out and ugly all that's out and ugly that's where like the middle part compartment used to be i'm not seeing a lot of delamination but like you can see up here by this stringer there's a piece a little bit right there my biggest concern is right here in the back i'm gonna probably have to cut all that out um you get going on that i I started uh, chipping away at the back part. It looks like this on this side. And um, on this side over here, this is what I'm getting to. And some of the foam on the bottom is wet. But there's no holes. There's no delamination in the corners. That stuff up there, that's just dirt and grime. It wipes right off. But other than that, everything's pretty much solid. Like I said, there's no big gashes in the boat. Um, my plan is to get... Um, most of the uh, my plan is to get most of the peanut butter and if you guys don't know what that is it's like resin mixed with um, just really loose fibers it just basically fiberglass just broken up and made into a nice ball and I'm gonna go through some of the places cut out what needs to be cut out layers stuff like that everything I've researched on YouTube doesn't seem super super technical but I mean I'm still pretty cautious on what I tear out and I don't have any help as far as like what I'm doing with this so I'm trying to just take it one step at a time and my first my first step is to just figure out what I'm working with and I've got the motor off the boat um, if you look back here let me move some of this foam back out of the way um, Transom is not pretty, guys. Um, it's pretty ugly. Um, it's pretty much just wiped it all away back to the fiberglass just now. So that's got to come out. And I don't know if I should, you know, put straps around the boat to keep it where it's supposed to be and then just cut this off square and then put a new piece in or see if I can put a piece in after I take this out and just make a piece that goes all the way across and do as best I can or what but I mean it's solid nothing's shaking nothing's twisting um, it's just whoever built this boat years and years and years and years and years ago if not from the factory um, you know didn't drain it properly or got in some bad water and you know didn't dry it out or you know hit something pretty bad and neglected it i mean it's not that hard for fiberglass boats to go to crap if you don't take care of them um but other than that like i've experimented a little bit with some sandpaper and you know sanded a little bit of the outside and seen how easy that was going to be to clean up and as far as you know just doing like a like a really nice finishing sand and then doing like a gel coat i'm thinking um over the boat just the um i plan on doing like the the tip or the the rolling tip from what I've seen a lot of people um, have good luck with that and stuff and I've got some some old pieces that I can practice on and see how I like and I don't know what color it's gonna be yet but I mean there's just a lot of little things that I gotta do and that's way way down the road um, just little pieces like that that need to be filled in and stuff or you just file it down with a Dremel and fill it up I did do one spot right here where I filled it up where it's you know there's no divots and it's super smooth and then put ran a little bit of uh 120 over it and it doesn't look pretty but it's it's fixed it was the stage two epoxy um and that did good i did it on a couple other places just to see what it would do on little stuff so that'll do great as far as the little stuff in the boat goes everything works as far as the steering controls um i put new gear oil in the motor um I'm tackling that too, kind of just what I feel like doing each day. Um, going from there, figured out what I need to buy. 
I've already got a battery. I ordered a switch for the motor. It turns over, it's got great compression. Um, it didn't have gas in it when I found it or when I bought it. Um, when I went through the uh, when I went through the carburetor, um, there was nothing in it. They ran it dry and stuff. The steels are in great shape. Um, he weather he uh, fogged everything and it looks phenomenal. There's like I said, there's no gas in anything. Um, the bowl was immaculate. Everything moves the way it's supposed to. So. That was pretty much the meat and potatoes as to why I got this boat. I knew I was going to have a project, and that's what I wanted. Um, a lot of this interior stuff, the the foam on the sides of like the rails cover this up, so it doesn't have to be stupid pretty as far as like on the outside where you really, really, really got to go that extra mile because it's going to be covered up. Doesn't mean I'm going to slack on anything. It just doesn't need that extra coat. So. I'm working on it. It's coming along and watch. I'm just slowly going at it. I've been using this. Uh, what are these called? Um, it's just a oscillating tool with a bit on it. And um, I did that to pretty much square off the sides, square up, square out. And that, that all that wood is just, I mean, it... I mean, if you look, it just comes right out. So that's making pretty easy work. And I literally just brushed off the the transom two by or not the two by the uh, plywood that was in there. So I mean, it's pretty easy work as far as getting everything out. It's just figuring out, you know, what am I going to replace it with? What's going to be structurally sound? You know, how far do I need to take it? Um, so leave a comment below um, if you have any ideas, tips, tricks. Like I said, guys, I know this is a big project. A lot of you guys would probably just say, screw the boat, keep the motor, keep the trailer, and go look for something else. I mean, I really like this style boat. It's, it's a cool-looking boat. Um, it's like a little, just kind of like a little ski boat for just a small family, which I really like. Um, I like it that the sides on it come up pretty high. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit higher because there's no floor in it, but it's going to be great for my little one for that reason. And the money that I would have to spend on buying another boat and the time it would take to find another boat, I could just be putting my time and resources into getting this one back to going. Um, I haven't found anything super, super bad that's like, oh, hey, just throw the boat away and and start over but then again the only thing i put into it thus far is my time and a few tools so look forward to seeing some more videos on it i know it takes me a while to get stuff done i'm i'm slowly chipping away at it as best as i can and if you have any tips tricks um certain types of products that you like to use as far as epoxy or what to replace the fiberglass certain brands materials i've been looking into some things at walmart um, let me know because I'm pretty new to this and just kind of getting myself YouTube certified on everything, checking everything out. So I appreciate it, guys, and uh, everybody be safe. Millennial Waterfowl out.